Hey what's up guys this is Nick from Part Time Pilot. If you haven't subscribed yet click the red button on the bottom right and then if you're not following me on Instagram you need to. It's at part period time period pilot on Instagram so please do that and there's lots of free good information on there for private pilots and student pilots. Today's video I'm going to talk about part 61 versus part 141 flight schools. What are the differences? So let's get started. So a part just refers to a specific part of the Federal Aviation Regulations or FARs. So the FARs are a big set of rules that govern everything about flying and then part is a specific section of those rules. So part 61, so when you get your flight instruction and ground instruction under a part 61, that allows for any certified ground or flight instructor to train students. So it doesn't have to be at a s flight school. You can, if, you, if your neighbor is a flight instructor under Part 61, if he's certified, he can train you. This allows for students to cheaply self-study for both the FAA written and if they know an instructor, they can just partner up with an instructor. So it allows for a lot of flexibility. So you can go use an online ground school you know, for 100, 200 bucks, or you can just buy cheap stuff off of Amazon, cheap books off of Amazon, study by yourself. You just need a ground or flight instructor to endorse you for the FAA written. That's the tricky part. If you know one, Part 61 has the flexibility for you to do that. Part 61 also requires 40 total flight hours for private pilot license and 250 for a commercial license. All right, so remember that number. It's a little bit different for 141, Part 141. Okay, so now for Part 141. A Part 141 school is a specific flight school that must acquire and maintain FAA approval on its training curriculum. So the FAA has to approve its training curriculum and say, you have to teach students this on the ground and this in flight. And the reason they do this is so that they can have an eye on these students that generally go on to get their commercial license and fly larger commercial airplanes. And these are also commonly what international students use. It doesn't say that you can't, if you're an international student, you can't get a Part 61, but there has to be specific requirements the school has to meet in order to train international students, and most of those are Part 141. So if you're an international student, just stick with a Part 141, unless you know for sure that the Part 61 is approved to train international students. So anyways, getting back to Part 141, the main difference is that this is basically the course pilots take to make it a career. Because of this, the FAA allows you to get your ratings in fewer flight hours. So for a pi private pilot's license, you only need 35. Under part 61, you needed 40 hours. And then for your commercial license in part 141, you only need 190, which is significantly less than the 250 you need under part 61 for a commercial license. So if you wanna make piloting a career, you can do either Part 61 or Part 141, but the FAA is making it much easier for you to get it, your commercial license, under a Part 141 because they have an eye and they mandate what is trained. So they're more comfortable allowing people to get a rating in fewer hours because they know what they're being taught. Okay, so that's essentially the two differences of Part 61 and Part 141. So to summarize, both Part 61 and Part 141 use the same standard of performance the ACS for student pilots, so that's the same set of training requirements for both Part 61 and Part 141. But Part 61 schools are good for those of you that are looking for flexibility in the time you train. Maybe you have other responsibilities, you have a family, you have a full-time job, and you don't have the time to go in every day at a structured school. You're on a budget and you need to find the time when you're going to train and you want to find some workarounds such as you know self-studying on your own, buying mat cheap material online, or maybe you know an instructor and they can give your endorsements for you as long as they see that you've done the study and the flight training. And then part 141 schools are good for those who want to make piloting a career as soon as possible. Because of the structured curriculum that's watched by the FAA, there's fewer hours required to get each rating on your way to a commercial pilot's license and up to 60 hours uh, less required for your commercial license. So if you have the time to go to part 141 school and, and you know, that is your number one priority is to make piloting a career, then part 141 is definitely good for you. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below. And as always, 
click the red button on the bottom right to subscribe. Uh, you'll get notifications for my next videos as I continue my playlist on tips and tricks on how to get your private license and all the rules and requirements that go into doing that, as well as how to save money and time and pick the right flight skills for you. Thanks, guys.